Yeah, I do believe that climate change is a serious issue. Although there is a natural component to climate change, I believe that what we're experiencing now is primarily, but not exclusively, driven by human activity, human activity that can be adjusted. And specifically in Canada, if I recall correctly, there are two main drivers of greenhouse gas emissions in the country. It's the oil and gas industry and transport industry. Together, they contribute to more than half of the emissions in the country, or at least as of 2019 data. Oil and gas, the majority of that is just an oil sands production. Uh, let's see, it was oil sands in situ, oil sands upgrading, and oil sands mining and extraction. Those three combined accounted for about roughly half of the greenhouse gas emissions in the oil and gas industry. And then the majority of the emissions in transport is heavy duty trucks and passenger light trucks, like typical pickup trucks. And so if we're going to address emissions, we have to address emissions in those areas, because if we address emissions in other areas, it's not going to have a significant impact. And while I'm not suggesting that we have to get rid of all oil and gas and all transport vehicles, we have to come up with ways to reduce the emissions in those sectors, in the oil and gas sector, primarily oil sands and transport sector primarily heavy duty trucks and light passenger trucks. So if we can reduce the emissions in those areas, then I think we can make a difference in being able to get to net zero. Those emissions keep rising. And so it's going to be difficult for us to reach net zero by 2050, which is what the NDP and liberals are both promising, unless we address those soon, because that's fewer than 30 years away. Now, at the same time, especially here in the Lethbridge riding, it's difficult to tell people to get rid of their trucks. Right, because like you can't take the bus from Bilbaford to Lethbridge or from Colhurst to Coldale or whatever it happens to be. And so there's going to have to be some work on the part of the government to be able to make sure that the infrastructure is in place if we're going to be either reducing some of these things or implementing technological solutions to reduce those emissions. So I would support things like a robust public transport system, inter-community public transport system, not just locally and provincially and regionally, but like nationally. You know, losing Greyhound is a big blow to the public transport industry, even though it was a private company over the last 30 years or even longer the federal government has cut and cut and cut via rail and so we have a lot fewer passenger rail options than we used to and they're more expensive because they still need to try and make the revenue that they need to make so that needs to be fixed as well and so there's just a lot of things that have to be done we can't just put a carbon tax on everything and expect that our emissions are going to go down we need to come up with innovative solutions for reducing emissions but we also need to make sure that the infrastructure is in place so that we can find alternatives for not just people who live in downtown communities but everywhere and then as well we need to make sure that we're looking at solutions that reduce activity that creates emissions. Things like carbon capture and storage, that doesn't do anything to reduce the activities that produce emissions. All it does is store the emissions that are produced. And so all it basically does is encourages the status quo. And so that's something we would have to address as well.